people find it really weird that if you follow any conspiracy theory to to its like highest source you you always end up bumping into satanism um and and people are like oh well that's really weird and actually if you think about it it's not weird at all it actually makes perfect sense um so what do we think is the head of the the, the food chain in this world we think that man is the head of the food chain but if you go back to the story in the garden right Adam and Eve lost their supremacy over this place to the snake when the snake tricked them and they yielded and submitted to him. And the evidence of this is in Genesis 3, 14 and 19, where God says to the serpent, for what you've done, you're going to crawl on your belly and all your days you're going to eat dust. What a weird thing to say now, but now what is dust? Um, a little bit later on, he says to um, Adam, dust thou art and to dust thou shalt return. This is why we have got uh, stories about vampires in every single culture that feed off the blood. Where's the soul? The soul is in the blood. That they literally eat us. We're literally their, their legitimate food in our fallen state. Now, boom, Jesus comes onto the scene. And when we are in covenant with him, we no longer fall under the devil in the food chain of this place. We are then superior to him. And he's not legally allowed to feed on us mentally, emotionally, physically. Um, so you follow like government conspiracies, elitists, this whole depopulation agenda. You know, all of it is this push back to Babylon to try and get everybody, you know, unified, unified again, and um, to to just do that push for whatever the Tower of Babel was supposed to be.